Good morning, friends. My name is Jason Sisk Provencio, and I'm the pastor at the United Church of Christ Congregational of San Luis Obispo on Los Osos Valley Road. And I'm here on this already warm Monday morning uh, with a peace nugget. This morning, I'm going to share from the Common Prayer Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. And I'm going to share uh, the reading from a few days ago, which was about Oskar Schindler. Oskar Schindler was a German living in Czechoslovakia when he joined the Nazi party in 1939. When Germany invaded Poland later that same year, he moved to Krakow and took over two manufacturing companies and, like many other businessmen there, made his fortune using cheap labor, Jews from the Krakow ghetto. When he began to witness the Germans killing and deporting Jews in the ghetto, Oscar was moved to transfer the Jewish workers from his factory to a safe place. Later, he received permission from the Germans to move not only his workers, but other Jews as well to his native land of Czechoslovakia. Over time, Schindler's occupation changed until ultimately the rescue of the Jews became his top priority. Using the factory's cover, he saved more and more Jews, putting his own life in danger to ensure the safety of those in his protection. At one point, when a uh, train carrying more than 1,000 Jews was on its way to a new factory site in Czechoslovakia, it was accidentally diverted to Auschwitz. Schindler offered the Nazis diamonds and gold to make sure that those in his care reached safety. Ultimately, Schindler saved 1,200 Jews from extermination, and today there are more than 7,000 descendants of the Schindler Jews living all over the world. Through his actions, Schindler was a living example of the reality of human decency, love, goodness, and compassion in the face of unspeakable horror. He's been called an unlikely hero, not only because nothing in his prior life suggested the extent of his heroic deeds, but also because he was an ordinary man who did extraordinary things. His life is a testament to the fact that we are all called to put our faith into action, sometimes in the most unexpected, bold, and courageous ways. Oscar Schindler once said, he who saves one life saves the entire world. He passed away uh, one year before I was born. Um, what an incredible figure. I see a good morning from Nadine, and it looks like a little kitty cat. Good morning, Nadine. Um, I like also uh, what Shane, Shane Claiborne had to say, that he was an ordinary person who did uh, extraordinary things. And you know what, friends, that's all of us. We're ordinary people, um, and yet we can do extraordinary things. If we um, just think about maybe one small act a day, one small act today, something that we can do, whether it's sharing food or sharing a smile or uh, helping someone in some way. Um, we don't live in the time of Nazi Germany, uh, thank God, and thank God for the allies that uh, put an end to uh, Nazism. Um, but we are still living in challenging times. We're living in a global pandemic when so many people are struggling. Um, so think about maybe something that you can do today uh, to help folks. I see a good morning from Susan. Good morning, Susan. Welcome. I hope you're staying cool out in your neck of the woods. All right, friends. Um, look uh, in yourself and, and find the courage to do something for someone today uh, in memory of Oscar Schindler. I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.